Shit. Hi guys. So as I promised, I'm making a questions and answers video. And I received a lot of questions from you on my Instagram, some of them on my YouTube, and I'm gonna try my best to answer every question. But if I forget something, just repeat this question under this video. So I'm actually making this video right next to the ocean. This is Atlantic Ocean. Um, it's not cold here, but it's quite um, it's difficult to get here. I'm gonna show you the reason why it's difficult to get here, but yeah, so this is what I was talking about. It's quite edgy and uh, yeah, not really good for climbing. Basically one mistake and you're dead. Yeah. So, I don't want to waste your time. The first question. What is your best film camera? That is the easiest question. The answer is Mamiya RZ Professional 2. Right. This is my dream camera. I've been dreaming about this camera from, I don't know, maybe for 10 years. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. For 10 years at least, I think I think definitely more. And I love this camera. This is a medium format film camera. It, crazy. Just crazy, you know? So, if you're looking for a good film camera, this is the camera I can recommend you for sure. The next question is, how do you develop photos from film nowadays? Well, I used to develop them in labora labor <laughs> labor in labs, all right? Uh, so it's kind of film shop where you can bring your film and they do all the work for you. But then when I moved to France, uh, I realized it's fucking expensive here. In my country, I used to do this for, I don't know, maybe five years for developing and scanning. But here in France, and I, oh, important thing. The film was ready the next day. Or if you bring the film like in the morning, you can get the results even this day. So it's kind of convenient. And in France, it costs around 25 euros and you have to wait at least a week to get your film from the lab. So yeah, this one and that one, and I decided to develop it at home. So currently I'm developing film at home for one year and two months or something. Everything by myself, developing and scanning. That's it. The next question, how did you start photographing? Oh, uh, I'm not gonna surprise you. I think that's gonna be a very boring answer because you know, we all started the same way. Somehow we got the first camera, maybe parents gave us the camera, maybe friends. In my, in, in my case, that was parents. Uh, they got the uh, first digital camera, like uh, Canon something, I don't remember. Uh, but it was like really tiny digital camera, very bad. <laughs> but that was crazy for me. I mean, I took this camera and I tried to take some macro photographs like of some leaves, of uh, flowers, of anything basically, anything macro. Uh, I was just in love with macro things and I was like, oh, that's cool. Then I just somehow, I, I don't remember actually how, uh, I borrowed a camera from a friend to take some pictures like of me and my girlfriend and uh, I took like some portraits and I was like, oh damn, that's nice. I can like um, control reality, you know? And then I just got my first iPhone, which was iPhone 5 at that moment. And the camera was kind of nice, um, again, at that moment. And I was like just taking pictures of everything, uh, especially when I finally got my first Instagram account. I was like, oh my God, those pictures are so nice. You know, the first uh, film photographers or just basically any photographers on Instagram were so nice. And I was just fell in love with those pictures. And I just decided that I someday, I want to be like them, you know? And uh, a camera after a camera after a camera. And here we are sitting next to Atlantic Ocean and uh, answering your questions. Sun is coming out and I think I'm gonna change the settings a little bit. Maybe like, like this, I... No, it's too dark, oh shit. All right, so the next question. 
Why have you chosen France? Do you speak or learn French? Tell me something about that. All right. Uh, why have I chosen France? I haven't. The France, I mean France, France chose me. <laughs> no, it's, I'm joking. Uh, but, you know, the war in Ukraine uh, and uh, when the war actually started, I was outside of Ukraine. I've been uh, to Turkey, vacation slash work kind of thing. And I was actually going to go back to Ukraine at the end of the month, but never happened. And I was kind of, you know, everyone was surprised. No one expected the war to start. This was the only country where I knew someone, like where I can go to someone and to spend some days in the apartment, you know, because I didn't have much money to rent an apartment. So uh, me and my girlfriend, we decided to go to France. And here we are again, next to the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> And do you speak or learn French? Uh, je parle un peu français, mais pas beaucoup. <sighs> but, okay, no joking. Uh, I, I speak just a little. You know, some basic phrases, basic words. Uh, I cannot say that I learn it because I don't have time and, uh, you know, mm, moral resource for that because it's really complicated language and I hate learning languages, any kind of languages. I mean, I barely uh, forced myself to learn English. Uh, I still suck at it, but anyway. It's a hard question. I think I will have to learn it at some point because if I'm gonna stay here, I will have to do this. But at this point, Ampe, Ampe. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of fucking mosquitoes or something. The next question. The best beginner camera for someone who cannot afford it. Uh, it depends, you know, uh, what kind of cannot afford it we are talking about. Fuck the sun again. Okay, so yeah, it depends on your budget actually. My first camera was like my first digital camera was Nikon D5050 or 500. I don't remember exactly which kind of camera, but that was a bad camera. I recommend you to start with a film camera because it's quite cheap. You can find a camera for like 50 bucks and even less. Um, yes, film is expensive, but I can recommend you to use your phone actually, because that is how I started like seriously taking pictures. As I told you before, uh, I got my first account on Instagram and I was like, in love with those pictures and I just try to practice as much as I can with my iPhone and it was iPhone 5 at that time so if you have any kind of iPhone I can recommend you iPhone because I think they actually have a better camera even though I, I hate uh, the Apple overall because notebooks and computers are just overpriced shit in my opinion but phones are actually good so yeah, you can just start with your phone. This is the best thing you can do. And you don't have to waste any money for that because I think you have a phone, right? Anyway, next question. What's your dream camera lens setup? Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm not really familiar with lenses because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm just not. But if we're talking about the cameras, um, probably I would love to try Hasselblad one day. I mean the digital Hasselblad, which costs like 10,000 or somewhere, 15,000. That's like crazy, uh, crazy price for the camera, but it's like medium format digital camera, which is kind of nice. And uh, I heard that the large digital, I mean large format digital camera exists. And again, it's Hasselblad and it costs around, I don't know, $50,000 or something. So I would really tr love to try it. But as like for the like practical camera, which I would use every day, I'm thinking about G, um, Fujifilm GFX system. It's again, medium format digital camera, uh, but it's compact. It's quite the same camera, I mean, physically, uh, as I've been using before. 
and uh, I think that's gonna be cool. I think that's gonna be great camera because medium format, I think, uh, is better than full frame. I believe so. Um, so yeah, at this point, at this, at this point, this is my dream camera. And uh, for the lens, I actually uh, heard something about Metacon, Metacon 1.4. If I, if I say this correctly. Uh, it's manual lens, it's like uh, old manual lens, but the results that I've seen on the internet, crazy, just crazy. Anyway, the next questions. What is the best film camera for beginners? Good question, actually. Uh, and I think, I think, uh, I think any 35mm manual film camera. Why? Because you will learn a lot of things about the cameras itself, themselves, you know? When you are shooting with just point and shoot camera, you just care about getting a picture, like to compose the picture, right? Um, but when you are having a uh, manual camera, then you have to understand how the camera actually works. What is the ISO, what is the shutter speed, and so on and so on. And that's really helpful, because my first camera, I mean film camera, was Zenit. Um, unfortunately, it broke before I even uh, finished the first roll, so it broke like on the 15th picture, so yeah, I would not recommend you to get Zenit, of course, uh, but there are a lot of film cameras, manual film, cam film cameras, which are below 50 euros or dollars, so any of them, actually. Minolta, Olympus, I know some of them are actually good, so that's, that's it. The next question, which is the last one. What is the most memorable thing that happened to you as a photographer when you first started? Well, uh, actually, I think the most remembered thing that I still remember is how I deleted the entire photo shoot uh, before actually even coming home. So let me explain you how it happened. I had two photo shoots that day. The first one was around 5 a.m., which was during the sunrise or something, 5, 6 maybe a.m. Uh, so I did the photo shoot, I went home, I edited the photo shoot and I gave the pictures. That was like really urgent photo shoot. So the pictures were ready in like one hour after the photo shoot was done. Then I just slept a little bit, like for one or two hours. And I had one more photo shoot, the second one, at around 3, 4 p.m. So I went to this photo shoot, I did the photo shoot. And when I was going back to my home in a taxi, I was like, oh, I don't want to waste my time, so why don't I just delete the previous photo shoot? And uh, you know, you, on the camera, you can or delete one picture after another, or you can delete the whole set of pictures for the entire day. And since I was thinking that the first photo shoot was like yesterday, because you know, I slept already, uh, I was like, oh, so I can delete all the pictures for that day, sure. And I pressed OK, like, you confirm, yes, yeah, I confirm. And I'm just staring at my camera, which is saying no images available. And I'm like, fuck. And that was really embarrassing because, you know, you just finished the photo shoot and uh, you already fucked up with the pictures. So this is probably the most remembered thing uh, from my entire, probably, career. That was, that was it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you still have some questions, you can go ahead and ask them because as far as I can tell, the tide is actually coming back and if I don't go from here, I'm gonna be under the water and I don't wanna do this. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.